attempting the isi pb properly requires you to do two things one you have to be comfortable with reading lengthy questions two read the question at least three times read the question at least three times you have to be used to reading lengthy questions read the question at least three times basically if you read it three times you your comprehension of the question should be good this is where most of the students lose the battle in isi pb aakhir kehna kya chahte ho that is what most of you basically react when you take a look at the question sir ye pooch kya rahe hain what are they wanting us to solve that is the bafflement most of you are baffled what am i supposed to do what do i do with the question i don't understand how do i write what do i write so the comprehension ki question mein pooch kya raha hai ye will be much better if you get used to reading the question at least three times if you are not able to follow four put the question into different parts so compartmentalize the question like in the previous question i didn't read the second part i was doing this six part a i didn't have to read my part 2 before i did my part 1 i simply read part 2 just to see ki can i attempt this entire question theek hai maine isko padha ha theek hai average cost of production to nikal lenge theek hai isko baad mein dekhte hain pehle ye jo question hai iska information ko put kare so i didn't have to read the entire question i read only the first part of the question and solved the first part then went on to the second part so compartmentalize the question or read the question in parts i'll call call it compartmentalization okay number 5 make how do i put it make ready notes what do i mean by this whenever you read a question the question is written in a paragraph it's uh, written in words whenever i read a question like this more often than not i get confused so what i used to do as a student will you want to know ki mai kya karta tha in order to make this easier how i used to do this is i am reading the question an economy produces two goods so two goods i wrote two maine kuch aur nahi likha two goods kaun se two goods hai corn and machine okay using for their production only labor and some of the goods okay production of one unit of corn so one unit of corn requires 0.1 unit of corn 0.3 machine 5 hours of labor okay one unit of machine requires 0.4 corn 0.6 machine and 20 labor do you understand what i'm doing i'm writing the question in my own shorthand it's like taking notes main question ko padh ke usko comprehend karke kuch chhota note bana raha hu i am maybe making a table maybe just uh, scribbling something but i'm trying to put it into a format which i am more comfortable with so compartmentalization ke sath sath mein what i do is i take short hand or i make a note on paper ki question kya bol raha hai chhota 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 notes i make first then i come back to the question so when i read my note i get a much better understanding this note is prepared by me it's let's write it it's a short hand note that you prepare in the format that you are comfortable with okay so these are a few things which are a must have and obviously without the sixth component nothing will fall into place sixth component is knowledge agar aapko concept hi nahi pata hai अगर आपको पता ही नहीं है कि प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट होता क्या है तब तो कोई फायदा ही नहीं है राइट नॉलेज और कॉन्सेप्ट हैज टू बी डेवलप टू अटन एक्सटेंट दीज आर अ फ्यू वेज इन विच यू कैन इंश्योर दैट योर पी बी गोज वेल ओके यूज टू रीडिंग लेंदी क्वेश्चन आई विल रीड द क्वेश्चन एटलीस्ट थ्री टाइम्स आई विल अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन इफ यू रीड द क्वेश्चन थ्री टाइम्स ऑटोमेटिकली समझ में आपको आने लगेगा क्वेश्चन I will make the question into different parts. एक साथ में पूरा पढ़ के एक बार में समझने का कोशिश मैं नहीं करूंगा I will make a note on paper. As I read the question, I will scribble, make a few notes. I write the question in my own shorthand. I will write it in a way that I will understand. Like if you want to write it in Hindi, write it in Hindi. पांच लोग हैं पांच कौन छह मशीन जो आपको लिखना है आप हिंदी में लिख दीजिए It's okay. क्वेश्चन पेपर में तो लिख रहे हैं आंसर स्क्रिप्ट में नहीं लिख रहे हैं आप ओके नॉलेज एंड कॉन्सेप्ट ये तो सबसे ज्यादा जरूरी है ही इफ यू डोंट नो द कॉन्सेप्ट तब तो कोई फायदा ही नहीं है ओके तो दीज आर अ फ्यू थिंग्स व्हिच विल हेल्प यू इन योर पीबी अनदर थिंग हाउ टू राइट द क्वेश्चन यहां पर भी लोग यहां पर भी स्टूडेंट्स मुझसे पूछते हैं सर क्या लेंथ होना चाहिए हम लोग के आंसर का हाउ हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव दिस क्वेश्चन दैट सर वॉट शुड बी देंथ ऑफ माई आंसर वॉट शुड बी देंथ ऑफ द आंसर many of you ask me this question many 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 of you 
length of the answer is that see isi will not want you to write lengthy answers it will want you to write to the point answer do not beat around the bush like for example in a cobb douglas production function or a utility function you can solve directly for the optimal lk or xy whatever the case may be right there is a shortcut formula for the cobb douglas use the shortcut formula do not do lagrange is equal to x y plus lambda into dot 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 don't write all these stories if you already know the shortcut formula write the utility function write the budget line and we know the result of the shortcut formula for cobb douglas hence we get x star is this y star is this bas you don't have to write any story they are not going to read any stories please understand they have many papers to correct right to the point answers so it is a possibility that even for a 20 mark question you are writing only half a page it is a possibility for a 10 mark question you are writing only four lines but in those four lines the examiner has to be conveyed that you know the entire concept if the examiner understands ki aapko ye concept samajh mein aa gaya hai they'll give you 10 out of 10 they'll give you 20 out of 20 let me tell you the examiner should think that you know what you are saying another thing if your entire process is correct only answer becomes incorrect this is again a question that many of you ask sir mera pura process hai sahi khali answer mein maine kuch silly mistake kar diya tab kya hoga will i get step marking out of 20 you will get 18 or 19 you will get entire step marking they are more concerned with your approach not your actual end answer end answer bhi agar correct hai sone pe suhaga end answer incorrect hai they will give you maximum marks and if your approach is impeccable they might even be lured into giving you 19 and a half out of 20 even a 20 on 20 if everything is immaculate absolutely perfect only in the last one digit you make an error they might be tempted to give you full marks okay so don't have to write any lengthy stories write to the point answers you will have to only show that you know what you are telling them and what you are telling them should be the correct answer okay should not be any stories please avoid stories don't write lengthy stories no one likes it even i as an examiner will not like to read lengthy stories which i already know theek hai i i am only here to judge what you are doing in the paper whether you have understood everything in the paper or not i am only concerned with that theek hai so these are a few tips that i want to leave you with